Hey everyone and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. We are just looking at the sketch here that I drew up for the Dragon Hellhound Chopper. This is the artwork that I've just finished airbrushing on the oil tank of the chopper. Um, so this particular sketch, I just uh, drew that on with Prismacolor pencils. I used a white first, um, then came in with like a blue and then some, um, you can see here I've used a bit of a marker as well plus a, a darker black pencil as well for the shading. Uh, once the sketch was done, I then um, printed it out on my computer, to or just on normal A4 paper, printed it to scale, and um, did some paper templates off that, and then started airbrushing the artwork straight onto the oil tank from there. So that's the completed sketch. Um, before I show you the completed artwork, this is the paint that we've been using on it. So we've used the Createx illustration colors, numerous colors in that one, as well as Trident water-based airbrush colors. So they're the two paints that we've used. Obviously the artwork's gonna get totally clear coated. Now these are the airbrushes that we use for this particular project. So the X-Tech 100 by Segola, I use that for the white underpainting and just the white highlight. So I'll pretty much just run white through this gun you don't have to do that, but I just keep that one for the white. Then the Eclipse, the HP CS Eclipse, I've used that for all the larger areas. Um, also applying all the intercoat clears to seal it before I mask over the top of things. Um, and just any of the bulk areas. But this will also do detailed work. So this has a 0.35 needle. Uh, for anyone that's interested, the Segola runs a 0.2mm needle. And then most of the work's done with the Iwata um, CMSB Micron. So I've switched over the trigger to the round trigger there, as you can see, but a really nice brush. This one runs a 0.18 mil needle. Okay, so I use this for pretty much most of the artwork because it, it's, um, as you'll see in a minute, it's reasonably small, so a lot of detailing in that one. I did also use a um, paintbrush for some of the areas too, so so this is the completed artwork. You can see the Reaper holding the chains. Got the completed Hellhounds here. So I used a Cerulean Blue by Createx first, and then shaded it with a Cobalt Blue, and then further shading with a darker tone mixed with a bit of blue as well. But I have filmed all of these, so they will become step-by-steps -steps in the future. It's going to take a little while to do. Size-wise, you can see if I put my finger there, it's pretty small. You'll notice a bit of brushwork in the mouth area. So the teeth were so small I was going to mask them out, but it worked quite well just using the brush. Also some fine strands of hair there in the fur. So I did that with the brush and then airbrushed back over them. So don't feel like you can't use a brush as well, you know, to create your mixed media and whatever it takes to create your artwork. So don't think that you have to do everything freehand with the airbrush. Sometimes it looks a lot better using other methods and other materials to get that real sharp edge. The eye in there, that's all freehand with the airbrush. So again, size wise, pretty small so you can go nice and fine with the CMSB but um, for certain areas like I mentioned I did add the brush in there and then we've got some skulls and rib cages and bits and pieces on the ground there so just a quick video to keep you guys up to date so I hope you enjoyed it didn't want to ramble on too much just want to get straight to the point and I've got to go now and draw up the artwork for the rear guard. So that'll be the next one we'll be working on. So thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel, we'd love to have you as part of our community. Feel free to hit subscribe. Tap on that bell icon. That'll notify you every time we put out new content. And until next time, go grab your airbrush and go do some amazing artwork yourself. And we will see you again very, very soon. Take care. Bye for now.